camera. <laughs> okay, we're in. Got this. It packed really light. You the did. You packed skills. way light. I did. Is really cold they'll come back to the corn they have the that's their best feed so when it's really cold they'll still come back to it but then they'll usually leave it and go bed somewhere else <laughs> okay so it's the first morning we just got out of here and I was just saying I don't get out much so I'm just in awe of the scenery that's out here but we saw an elk I saw something and I was like what is that he says a deer and then we stopped <laughs> it was an elk and apparently they don't ever see elk out here is that a bugle? Coyote. Coyote. Oh. Um, so we saw elk, bull elk. <laughs> None of us have pigs, of course. And then looking at the elk, he started moving, and then there's a whole bunch of bucks and um, does down there. But And he said there's one good one. But like, look at, look at where we are right now. This is just... There's so much stuff going on. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Do they fly the same as birds? Yeah. So the way you should practice is draw your bow and then act like you're going into the corn row because that's how you're going to have to, you have to draw oh, your bow first inside. and then step into the row and Without shoot. Without hitting my yeah. butt. <laughs> okay, yeah. alright. So that's how you're, that's how it'll shoot, yeah. Now you'll step through the row sneakily. best scenario is you finally bedded and his head is in one row and his body's in the other. That would be great. Because then, yeah, <laughs> especially if, okay. you, if it's in the direction you're going where his body's first and then his head's in the next row, you can you can do whatever you want. So and you shoot them anything. bedded. So are there like shoulders? I don't, I've never even considered shooting something bedded. So their shoulders are like It's not much different back. than standing. No. Shoulders. Shoulder, shoulder blades here. It goes down like that. Yeah. All right, so um, this hunt was planned, uh, well I think it was planned a while ago, but they were, Mountain Ops was supposed to bring somebody else and thankfully he couldn't come. So Rihanna called me mm, four days ago and I was about to start a three day photo shoot and my bow was in transit to my house because I had a new bow coming and so this bow didn't have anything on it and this was my extra and she said that there's this hunt and asked if I wanted to come and I was like, Yes, I do, but I ran my little booty to the bow shop and got my bow set up. Not, oh, that's okay. And is she? <laughs> that's awesome. Um, and so I got my bow set up, so we're just making sure that <laughs> everything's doing what it's supposed to be. Heating up around here. <laughs> you got that on video. <laughs> I could very easily get lost in here. Yeah, when you get the thick corn, you can't see. It's about my head. But There's no so this is this is where the corn changes. So you see how the rows are going that way. Mm -hmm. The rows are going that way. So you have to walk on the edge, looking down this way because this way you can't see it from the road. It's because the corn's going oh, the wrong way. Oh, because they're right here. Oh, I see what you're saying. So we're going to do a lot of this because I can't see far at all. Are you seeing my shooting lane? <laughs> There's literally no shooting lane. I'm still, I'm just going to bank. I'm just going to hold on to the fact that whenever we find the deer, it's going to be bedded in a spot where all the corn is just straight up because there's literally no way I can shoot through this. But Expandables, but I guess they do it. I've never, ever, ever experienced a hunt like this <laughs> through the corn. <laughs> so there could be a monster mule deer like literally right in front of us. Oh, yeah. If you could just walk out yeah. this area. I'm weirdly excited to walk through all this corn.
is a this is it. If we get lost, we'll send a smoke flare. Do you think they're gonna go up there? And then can we sit like almost like up there on that just to watch where they're coming from and then like scoot down there if they if they do and if not go back up over the hill and like try to like jog around and catch them? Yeah, we could, we could do that. That'd give us a little more option. We're on morning number four and we are switching it up because there's a big milo field out here and we've only been in the corn so far or in like the breaks. Um, so we came, we took a big drive and we're gonna basically just pack in for the day and go see if there's deer. Apparently there are mule deer in here often. He hasn't been here since last year, but also big white tails, which I am very excited to see if we can see one of those. So we're gonna go hike through the Milo, I guess, and there's some dips and valleys, and I guess there's a river of some sort or a little stream. And we're gonna go spend the day looking for big bucks. You can see them out there oh, yeah, yeah. Is there a difference as far as the bucks here of like white tails versus mule deer, or one of them more spooky, or are they all kind of the same? White tails are the more spooky. All right, so we're going for mule deer. <laughs> Oh, this is so nice not to be in your face corn stalks. <laughs> this is a really great experience. Oh yeah. Holy smokes. That's a huge deer. This 
he's, he's going to bed. It's and so bad. where would he be going to bed? Which is where all the trees are? Is that the creek? That's tough. No, we can't, can't hunt there. Like Even if it was too old. No way for our tree to go on a deer like that. The way he was acting, I don't think he was going to hook around and come to him in bed. Didn't seem like it, did it? <laughs> and he wasn't like slowly no, he, chill. Like he was the whole time I was watching him, he was just walking. When he gets to the open stuff, he's like, peace out, I'm going to prison. <laughs> Dang, that was a monster. That's a big deer. <laughs> I almost wish I didn't see the antlers because that kind of makes me panic a little bit. Did you see that deer? Oh my gosh. Yeah, he, he, he was on his same same path the whole time. We didn't bump him. He either. never saw you, never smelled you, I guess. No. He's just being okay. smart and getting out of here when it's light. Yeah, but they usually bed in there. They usually don't bed. And they love laying in that Milo. It's so cool, you know? Yeah. That's okay. Uh, but we know he's in here. Yeah, yeah. Um, he, it's easy to get close to him in the Milo, but I don't know, about 30 yards. <laughs> Maybe 40, 45, they get. Did you guys get to see him, Eva, if you and Lucy? Yeah, I have him. She has him on video. Oh, you do? Yeah. Eva got him. I got him on video. Pretty good for like 30 seconds. So he... Yeah, send me that, Josh. Okay. Yeah. Does he frame me? He's a big deer, dude. Like frame me or just like... Both. Like, you'll... Yeah, I'm looking at the video now and it's not great, but you'll be able to zoom in and kind of see. He's got extras. He's got inlines. He's got his cheaters, have cheaters. This is fun. <laughs> Might have picked the wrong pants. I feel like I'm, I do this a lot faster. Josh, yep. would you sleep in a bed of sand burrs to shoot that buck? Like personally? Yeah. How many sand burrs are we talking? Thousands, naked. Thousands naked? Yeah. How long is sleeping? 12 hours. 12 hours in a bed of sand burrs? Naked. Yeah. Really? I'd bleed out. I'd die. <laughs> you be able yeah. To shoot it. But you'd have a legacy with a massive mule deer. Pass. <laughs> oh, there's one down my boot. buck in the Milo, the one that we spotted yesterday, and then um, I don't know if he winded us or if he was just kind of moving, but he's 700 yards and he's so big that you're not even invited with the camera because <laughs> we need as few variables as possible. Um, so I'm really sorry <laughs> to leave you here, but um, I'll let you know what happens. Hopefully I'll invite you in with a big buck. Watching this buck that uh, I took Eva on in yesterday, we were 150 yards and uh, found him again this morning. Bedded him. He's 700 yards from the truck, and uh, Alex and Eva looped around. Are within 20 yards, 15, 20 yards of that buck right now. We're waiting for him to stand. You just have to keep eyes on him. Wait for him to stand. And hopefully Eva makes a good shot. They're just off screen right here. 18 yards. Hey. Yes, I had a spear. I did the spear. Really? Are you guys going to shoot embedded? Yeah, you guys are close. 
Are you 15 yards, 20? Seventeen yards. This looks back. Yeah, he's standing. More safe. My girl. My girl. My girl. He's dumping. He's dumping, girl. He's gonna go down like that. See the blood? No. You just smoked him. We just shot a giant. Oh, that's so good. Are you sure? You did so good. You shot him right where I told you. Shot him. Yep. And he's down. I don't know yet. I'm not celebrating yet. Oh, I think she smoked him, but nobody do anything. I said, I think she smoked him, but nobody she doing smoked it. him. I got it on video. Let's get this Yo! Oh my god, she smoked it. Huh? She smoked him, smoked it. He's dead. She hit him in the heart. Perfect, I got it on video. I, I got it on video, I got the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I was upset. Eva! <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm literally passed out! Oh my god! Oh, oh, did you see that? Look at that! 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 Do you see what happened? I am like full shaking. Oh we literally had popcorn we, in the truck and we were eating. I'm watching not watching it like we're a movie. Pop, filming we're ourselves like, eating popcorn down. and we're like, gotta wait. coolest thing I've ever watched in my life. To be standing there beside me in that moment, because so good, but also so experienced. Like, Alex honestly nailed it. I was panicking this morning, thinking he was going to be like, let's go, and I'd be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like yelling. <laughs> I think I might just start crying when I get up here. Where's your hair Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. What in the oh my goodness gracious. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Get out of here. <laughs> Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing right now? He has double brow tines. This is my first out of retirement hunt. <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. god. I'm so happy to be here with you. I'm gonna cry. Next to my dad and Tim, I feel like this is like, I mean. I know, you this... probably wish you were with your dad. No, I don't because he's so intense and I would be so stressed out. <laughs> You'd be like, nope, you know, actually, I'm going to go shoot that deer. You That's stay right here. Exactly what would happen. Jim Shockey. <laughs> he would have been like, here. Oh, here, your bow got knocked. <laughs> oh, mine's still shooting. Oh my gosh, he's so excited. This is ridiculous. That is as long as a main beam I've ever seen. I've shot, I've cool. shot a lot of big that, deer. That's close to 30. Yeah. Yeah. That might be the, the longest main beam I've ever shot. I mean, you're looking at 230 minimum. Easy. Easy. We were sitting there and obviously he's very big and I was very aware and Alex was like, you don't even know how big he is on the bottom. I was like, <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> Please tell me nothing more than I already know. <laughs> Do you want to see him? Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, he literally went 70 yards and I was like, should I knock another arrow? And they're like, we watched him go down like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Look at the brow tines. There's double, double brow tines. Um, I can't, he's so big, I can't even show you what he looks like. Oh, look at the giant forks. As, oh my gosh, Eva. Is that the coolest thing you've ever seen? That's crazy. Look how massive 
massive too. I know. I mean, it's amazing. You, you made it, and the timing, everything was right. It was enough. It wasn't too fast. You, you waited. You, you know, you could tell. I mean, it's fast, but it's not. It was. It was in control shot. Not yeah. like he's up moving. You know, like you actually. It was. You took time. You had him. Thanks. They're awesome. Super cool. So proud of everybody. I'm so excited. I'm still kind of jittery. So happy for you. Thanks. All of you.